Hello students, so finally we have reached to the last section of our uh, exercise 2.5 and the end of the chapter before we do the summary. Uh, wherein we have to find possible expressions for the dimensions of cuboids whose volumes are given below. Now cuboid is nothing but something like this, right? So it can be in the form of a square or it can be in the form of a rectangle. right but usually they mention cubes okay a regular cube in case of a square cuboid when it is not mentioned whether it is a square cube or a cuboid or, or you know square a cuboid you generally infer it as a rectangular cuboid which has three dimensions right it will have length so my first question solution volume of a cuboid is equal to length into breadth into height, right? So what is my volume? 3x square minus 12x, right? It can be split into three factors, one for length, one for breadth and one for height. Now I do not know these terms. I am going to factorize 3x square minus 12x in order to find the dimensions, right? So let us factorize 3x square minus 12x okay what is common between these two is 3x so i'm left with x minus 4 inside right because 3x into x is going to give me 3x square and 3x minus 4 is going to give me uh, 3x into minus 4 is going to give me minus 12 12x okay now x minus 4 cannot be further factorized so i will write the first term as 3 the second term as x and x minus 4 so why did I write it in the form of three terms? Because I need three terms over here. That is three factors. For one for length, one for breadth and one for height. That is the dimensions, right? So my length becomes, let's say, three units, x units and x minus four. Okay? You can swap any of these. For example, you can just say that x is the length, three is the breadth and x minus four is the height or any uh, way. Because the dim these we just have to find the pr uh, factors of this polynomial, right? So therefore, I'll say answer length is equal to breadth is equal to and height is equal to. So length is 3 units. Notice the importance of units over here. Do not just leave it as it is. Units and x minus 4 units. So you see how we factorize the polynomial in order to find the dimensions of a cuboid. Okay, let's go ahead and solve the last question. So my second question is volume is equal to 12 k y square minus 8ky minus 20k right so now my volume is nothing but the product of length breadth and height for the cuboid so I'm going to rewrite this as volume of rectangle is equal to length into breadth into height right L as in length B as in breadth and H as in height so what is my volume of rectangle? It is this polynomial expression. So I'm just going to go ahead and substitute this. So this is going to be 12 ky square minus 8ky minus 20k. Right? I do not know my length, breadth and height because that is what I need to find. Okay, the dimension. So I leave three empty brackets for it. Okay. Now let's go ahead and factorize this because factorizing it will give us products of the factors right which is what we need so 12 k y square minus 8 k y minus 20 k now what is common in between these terms one we have k and the other one is 4 so I take 4 common outside 4 k gives me 4 3s are 12 y square minus 2 y 
minus 4 fives are 20 right so I got one term now we can go ahead and factorize this polynomial by splitting the middle term right so I need to split my minus 2 in into two product into two terms m1 and m2 such that m1 plus m2 gives me minus 2 right and m1 into m2 gives me 3 into minus 5 right so you see that 3 and minus 5 minus 2 can be written as minus 5 plus 3 right and m1 into m2 stays as it is so let's say I'm going to rewrite my quadratic equation as 4k stays as it is I have 3y square minus 5y plus 3y minus 5 right so what is common over here I'll keep 4k as it is there is y common here I get 3y minus 5 right plus there's nothing common between these two terms except for 1 so plus 1 into 3y minus 5 and 3y minus 5 is common for these two factors for these two terms I'm sorry so I take that out common so I get 4k into 3y minus 5 into y plus 1 so you see that we have got product of three factors so I can directly go ahead and substitute it over here so let's say my length is 4k my breadth is 3y minus 5 and height is y plus 1 right this is just the working part I'm just erasing it so that I can write my answer so answer length is equal to height is equal to and or length is equal to breadth is equal to and height is equal to so my length is equal to 4k units breadth is 3y minus 5 units and height is y plus 1 units with this we have completed exercise 2.5 of our chapter polynomials and you've seen in the last section how we have factorize the polynomials to find the area as well as the volumes uh, I'm sorry the dimensions of the areas and volumes of a cuboid or a square or a rectangle okay so factorization helps in finding the dimensions provided the area is given with this we wind up exercise 2.5 let's continue with the summary in the next class thank you hope this video increased your knowledge for more such videos and a completely free educational content log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our epathshala youtube channel we have each and every question solved for maths physics chemistry and biology so subscribe our channel share with your friends like our facebook page and follow our twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win epathshala goodies so what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.